Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button. We have a date. It's today. Today is the bridge. Oh my God. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. I mean, it's so good. You know, we were only talking about Zilligo a couple of days ago, but I could not help myself to come out and, and you know, to discuss this, right? Because this is a big deal. It's a very, very big deal. There's a couple of key things here that you're going to have to be mindful of, right? Because generally when when something launches and goes live, it can have a couple of impacts, but that's not going to change the direction of Dilliga. But I always wanted to point, point it out to you guys, just in case you guys get disappointed that, you know, say today the price doesn't go uh, 30% up, 40% up, 50% up, right? Even though the, the um, launch has happened of the bridge, that's no, no problem. These things do happen. But I wanted to kick off with that because sometimes when these things occur, people think that the price is just going to explode today, this second. doesn't always necessarily happen that way. I, I certainly think that it will, you know, be very, 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 very good. Um, very, very good for, for Zilliga. And I think the launch is going to go fantastic. And I think very smart of them to do it today because, you know, as we know, October is going to be a bullish, bullish, bullish month. So... To keep up to date, make sure that you always follow on social media. Make sure that you go on the on the Twitter accounts of these organizations and make sure that you do that, right? Because it's really, really important. Now, I like what Jonathan has done here, right? Because it just puts into perspective of the price potential. Yes, it has had, since 2020, a fantastic run. But it's so infant. Like, Zilliga is at 1 billion. Solana is at 47. Cardano is at 75. And Ethereum is at 400 billion. So this is, this is just the beginning, literally just the beginning. It's a good way to put it into perspective when you look at it this way. Now, when we look at the NFT projects ranking, we can see that Zilliga and its NFT uh, projects are sitting at number three at the moment in this particular ranking system. Like the NFT space of Zilliga is exploding right now. And we will talk about the price and we'll talk about where we're going, how it's go how we're going to get there. And we'll go over that. We'll go over everything. We'll go over everything to make sure that you guys are aware of what's coming up and what, what to expect. Now, Carbon, which is, you know, part of the Zilliga uh, blockchain is growing, is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's definitely something to something to keep an eye on and something for you to look at. It's important to get a general understanding of the projects that are involved within the ecosystem of Zilliga. And this is one of them, right? They, they are involved in that. And so it's important to not just look at the company, but also look at other projects and, and associations that are associated with it. Now, I also like this particular tweet, which says it's not Ethereum versus Polygon versus Solana versus Polkadot versus Zilliga versus Binance versus Harmony versus Cardano. It's Ethereum with these organizations fighting against TradFi, banks, fiat, centralization. That's the real battle, right? You often see uh, a crypto enthusiast bag another crypto enthusiast and talk about yours is bad, mine is good, blah, blah, blah. We're all in it together. We're, we are all in the same boat. All of us. And we are pro-crypto. We may have different opinions, but opinions are good. Opinions are very good. Very, very good. But just remember that because it's important to support each other. Now, we'll take a few moments just to talk to you about one of the channel sponsors, a great organization, Crypto.com, the world's fastest growing crypto app. 10 million users use buying and selling. Over 100 cryptocurrencies at true cost. And of course, you know, you can get a Visa card as well. And you can stake all within the app. And the NFT platform of them is brilliant. Now, with the card, you know, you can, you know, there's a couple of options. You can get different percentages, different rewards rates, and you can choose which one, which one you get. I'm personally getting mine. I think hopefully it should arrive by the end of um, October. And then I can go, go through the process with you, how to get it, how to activate it, how to use it in day-to-day -day life. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing that later on. And there are some different card benefits as well from Netflix 
to, um, to Spotify, to Prime and all that. So there's huge benefits uh, um, involved with the card. The exchange as well. So a lot of people think about it as just the app. There's so, so much more, right? So the exchange of the crypto.com is really, really good. And something that definitely is overlooked by a lot of people because they just think it's just an app. The exchange that crypto.com have is actually very, very, very powerful. Now, from a staking point of view, I love the app. It's so simple to do that. And there's a cool calculator that you can use on here to, to learn more about it and to understand it and, and you know how much can you possibly earn and which coins give you what rate. So that was me talking to you guys about one of the channel sponsors. Love these guys. We got, you know, we share lots of similar values and a, a super organization and make sure that you check them out. Now, we will talk about uh, pricing and, uh, you know, where we're going and all that. Let's jump into a tiny first. Let's have a look at some of the indicators. Okay, so as we begin to look at the charts and we're looking in particular here for the daily, we can see that we are under the moving average 100. So the moving average 100 at the moment, you know, we've been below it. And, you know, once we went out of it, you know, we fell pretty, pretty hard. And of course, Diliga is one of those that when the market does go down, it does take a big hit. But right now, like where it's at and the current price that it's at, it's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal, you know, from an accumulation point of view. And especially that we are, you know, hours away from a, like, a pretty major update to occur. Now, you can see here that when we were, you know, just from an hourly perspective, right, there was a massive hourly that went up and it went up almost to nine cents. And then it's come back inside the Bollinger Band right now. And so let's see, let's see where we go. But over the last 12 to 24 hours, you know, there, there has been movement, of course. Of course, there would be movement, you know, like I said, we were out of the Bollinger Band on the four hour. And it, bullish, bullish trends are beginning to appear. When we look at the 12 hour, you can see the last 12 hours have been, you know, phenomenal uh, from, from a growth point of view. And it is now finally that the MACD has gone into bullish, but from a daily perspective, not yet very close. And I think tonight, provided that a successful launch occurs of the bridge and it's all, you know, squeaky clean, then we should see a, a, a nice price action kick off what will be the Zilliger bull run towards $1 and beyond. So I wanted, I wanted to mention that because, like I said, when something launches like this, there can be a negative impact. So if we do have glitches or problems or something goes wrong, then you can expect the price to go down. Price going down doesn't necessarily mean that the whole project is off, right? I mean, things happen. It is an accumulation opportunity. And we've seen it happen with many, many other um, cryptocurrencies across these type of launches. Like, you know, Crypto.com had it. Heaps of others had it in the past, right? So when something launches, people are like, oh my God, today is the day that it's going to absolutely explode. That can happen. But also like Binance was a classic example of this when their main net launched. The price tanked 30% and then it went on to do an incredible rally. So I'm telling you this because I want you to be prepared for all scenarios. Do I think that that unlikely scenario is going to happen? No, but I want you to be prepared for it. Be always prepared for everything and you can't fail. Let's jump and look at some drawings. Okay, so when we look at the price action and we're looking at this particular chart for, for Zilliga and we're looking at you know long term, right? So into 2022, 2023 and beyond, we can see that going towards $1, if it were to perfectly follow this particular chart, you know, it would take you until middle of uh, next year for that to happen. But I think it's going to happen a lot, a lot, a lot sooner. Now we have been in this descending triangle and, and of course now we're, we're about to break out. 11, 12 and 13, six cent, 13 cents are very, very important. I think throughout this next period, with next three to four months, we will have an explosion in the entire industry. Zilliger will be right there in the thick of it. And I think a dollar to a dollar ten is absolutely not out of the question between now and say January, February next year. Now, this inverse head and shoulders has been building up, building up, building up, and now we're ready to kick off 38 cents, 63 cents, a dollar, and then beyond. And I think this will be one of those platforms which will surprise a lot, a lot, a lot of people. There is a lot to come. There are many, many things yet to, to be launched, to be talked, to be spoken about, but this ecosystem is 100% a winner 
in my my perspective, based on my research, my reviews, and and my general um, general look and feel of the entire industry, I think this particular uh, blockchain is not only here to stay, but I think it's here to be a major major player along the lines. And we're very fortunate to be in it in twenty twenty one, and not to speak about it in twenty. 23. If you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.